Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are going to study another superficial extrinsic muscle of the back, the levator scapuli muscle. So the levator scapuli is this thin strap like muscle found in the lateral cervical region of the neck. This muscle lies deep to the trapezius muscle as you can see. The levator scapuli is a superficial extrinsic muscle of the back and this muscle forms the floor of the lateral cervical region. So the levator scapuli muscle originates from the transverse processes of the first two and the posterior tubercles of the transverse processes of the third and fourth cervical vertebrae. And the fibers of the levator scapuli muscle then travel inferolaterally to insert on the medial aspect of the superior angle of the scapula and the portion of the medial border of the scapula superior to the spine as you can see. In terms of the nerve supply of this muscle, so the levator scapuli muscle is supplied by the anterior rami of third and fourth cervical nerves and the dorsal scapular nerve which originates from the C5 cervical nerve root as you can see. Now let's discuss the vascular supply of this muscle. So three arteries supply the levator scapuli muscle the transverse cervical artery, the ascending cervical artery and the vertebral artery. The transverse cervical artery originates from the thyro cervical trunk which then originates from the subclavian artery. The ascending cervical artery originates from the inferior thyroid artery. The inferior thyroid artery originates from the thyro cervical trunk which then originates from the subclavian artery and the vertebral artery directly originates from the subclavian artery as you can see. Now in order to discuss the actions performed by the levator scapuli muscle, we will have to concentrate on the origin and insertion points of this muscle because this muscle mainly performs its actions through its origin and insertion points. So let's discuss these functions. So an important action performed by the levator scapuli muscle is the elevation of the scapula also known as shoulder elevation. So the levator scapuli muscle performs this action of shoulder elevation by acting on the medial border of the scapula through its insertion. So when this muscle contracts it acts on the medial border of the scapula and elevates the scapula as you can see. And when the insertion of the levator scapuli muscle on the medial border of the scapula is fixed and it acts through its origin on the cervical spine, then it performs lateral flexion of the cervical spine. As you can see, in this case, the insertion of the levator scapuli on the scapula is fixed and it is acting through its origin on the cervical spine. And in this way, it is laterally flexing the cervical spine thereby decreasing the angle between the cervical spine and the shoulder girdle as you can see. The trapezius muscle mainly assists the levator scapuli muscle in these two functions which we discussed. Now let's review the important points which we have studied about the levator scapuli muscle. So the levator scapuli muscle originates from the transverse processes of the first two and the posterior tubercles of the transverse processes of the third and fourth cervical vertebrae. And this muscle inserts on the medial aspect of the superior angle of the scapula and the portion of the medial border of the scapula superior to the spine of the scapula. In terms of the nerve supply of the levator scapuli muscle, this muscle is supplied by the anterior rami of the third and fourth cervical nerves and the dorsal scapular nerve and the vascular supply, so three arteries supply this muscle. The transverse cervical artery, the ascending cervical artery and the vertebral artery. The actions performed by the levator scapuli muscle are the elevation of the scapula and the lateral flexion of the cervical spine. So this was about the levator scapuli muscle. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much.